them. I'm not going to ask you. Well, so a quick one now. A quick, um, let, let's go back memorably. I called you um, first um, and then I asked if you wanted to do it. Um, I thought um, at that, that time it was getting a little hairy, so to speak, for lack of a better word. We, we had invested... Um, we, we originally planned about the upwards of 20 million in, in PR for bad comments. After our budget was gone, we were not receiving what we ought to get back as, um, you know, as reverts, as, as you know, successful reverts for our efforts. And so my team and I sat and said, what's the next move? And um, oh, I, I sat down, there's something I do, I, you and I spoke about it. Um, um, it's called power of the conscious mind. I sit down, when I have a problem, I shut down, sit down on my own, and I analyze an all-round, you know, um, effectively an all-round appraisal of what was mitigating against achieving results and then the immediate impediments that I had um, as a person in going forward to achieve desired results. And I understand the psyche of our people. I understand the social media space. I, understand, I understood the assignment, um, if I were to put it in street patterns. But then I needed a boss to make it happen. And, uh, you know, so I said, when I, when, I, when I threw it in the morning, I wrote down these ideas. I, I you know, featured it to my people. Everybody voted against it. They vetoed it. And then film one, um, which is our parent um, um, distribution company, uh, when I when I put it up to them, they, they, they said it was undoable. That they didn't want to be a part of it. And I said, okay, um, I'm literally on my own on this one. So I um, I called you and I said, hey, man, look at what I've hatched up. Are you are you game? Are you chicken out? Remember. <laughs> He said, I said, I said, I said, I said, okay, okay. I take all right, so um, at this juncture, I'm pretty much on my own. So I, I asked my assistant to research who was possibly the most hated person in our social media space at present. Three names came up. Yeah, and um, I don't want to mention the other two names, and which he happened to be one of them. Yeah, so I called one of them. He was ready to do it, but then um, he had messed with me in the past on social media, this guy. So he wasn't sure if it was a setup <laughs> or a genuine one. <laughs> this shit is hilarious. That's right. So when, I, when they called him the next, I said, send your account details. I mean, we're good to go with you. He said, ah, man, are you sure you know what brush me for real? I can't have that copy. <laughs> so he chickened out too. And I was left with Uche. So I called Uche and I said, hey, no, they called Uche. I asked him to reach him. And you know, Uche had written some nonsense about me in the past as well. So they called him and said, hey, um, boss wants to do this, that, and are you interested? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they arrived at a certain figure and all that. And then um, I called the next day. Just They was like, you sure it's him? I called the next day and said, hey, it's really me. Uh, my people are coming to get you. I'm sending a car and they driver to pick you up. Da, 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 da. And he said, oh, that, uh, I hope they so, so don't be picked you. I want to keep him because uh, <laughs> he, was, he was so scared. <laughs> he was so scared coming over. Um, I had to make assurances. You know, we, I, I, I told him to reassure him every week. And they did. And they brought him in. And then I called them. Um, my director, um, Moses, my partner in crime, so to speak. And then, um, you know, we quickly shot it. And then I decided, you know what, it's a three-phase plan. We're going to release it first that um, um, that we needed as a tool to market our, our project. The second one would be um, to release the end video to let people understand that. I mean, this is a pseudo realm. This is a realm that exists purely for your pleasure. This is a realm that is a tool for marketing at best. And maybe, you know, leisure. And then people have decided to move in and live there and, and exist in this in this um, serene realm and uh, made it home. That lesson was what the movie is all about. I'm not here to, 
manipulate anybody. I'm here to impart a lesson. I think that is my chief responsibility as a filmmaker. It's a satire that was created, you know, evidently to to you know chronicle the um, um, the manipulation that that that's prevalent in the in the social media ecosystem. I don't know why people are uh, acting like their world just ended. You, you, you see, um, to be honest, I didn't have any fear of uh, getting in a fisticuff with you because you shot part of the movie in my house. I remember clearly. Dude, I've always loved you as a brother, man. That's not how I was going to hurt you. Come on, that one. You, uh, okay, now we can ask for life. Why did you, why did you chicken out? Why did you say you're not going to do it? I hadn't gotten my COVID vaccine. <laughs> okay, okay, got you, got you, got you. Wait. And, and it was tight. I really wanted to do it, but mm. because of the COVID vaccine and that, and you know, the next thing I just saw Uche, and I was like, yeah, Uche is the perfect person. I might not even have done mm. it as well. Mm. Even, yeah, I was like, yeah, he's, 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 he's taste for controversy and his taste for drama is unprecedented. I, I don't think you'd have you'd have given us one tenth what that dude was capable of. I I just he took it and ran with it. Eh? Yes, so, I conceived yeah, so I, 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 yeah, at some point it was like a runaway train with no brakes. We're trying to reel this guy in and say hey, my dude, um my my, my Production manager can say, dude, listen, man, you're not sticking to the plan anymore. Nobody sent you to go guard people or, or, or harass people or do A, B, and C. Dude, no, chill out. This is a marketing tool. You went too far. Mommy. Dude, it was Mommy. amazing. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. Talking about Mommy. that, uh, using that as a prop, if I may use that word, for the movie is perfect, in my humble opinion, because the movie is actually about bad comments. And how bad comments sprinkle, or should I say, splatter into real life situations. And uh, what happened between you and Uche, although orchestrated through a lot of light on the movie itself and the reasoning behind the movie. So I would say it was genius as a marketing tool and also genius showing people a life lesson. There are so many people waiting for people out there. There are so many people waiting. People, people don't understand that. Um most, I mean, Bollywood, Hollywood, I mean, basically, these are uh, bigger um, superstructures that we look up to. Um, they employ this gimmicks sometimes as marketing tools. It's, uh, our, no, our people are vested on a different you know, type of reality. You know, and then when this happens, they say, oh, man, he just manipulated the whole nation. I did. With no regrets. You understand? Because... I mean, I, I'm, I'm an investor, I'm a businessman. I invested heavily in the film, and then I made a film. I, didn't, I could have gone out there and made one of those slapstick comedies where people are chasing people all around, put it up in, a, in the cinema, and, and, and make tremendous returns as well. But I'm a filmmaker, and I'm, I have my reputation at stake. I had to make a film that would define the times, that would set a new bar, a new precedent, so to speak.